All right, so now that we are going to see how we can work with uh, the dynamic table uh, or dynamic types uh, of the data table instead of just creating uh, like a set or maybe an instance that we are seeing over here. So how do we do that? Well, for that, you need to go to uh, the probably the nuget.com uh, and just search for uh, oops, nuget package manager which is the yeah nuget.org uh, and just search for execute automation something like that uh, you will get this particular package uh, exit automation dot rec and roll dot dynamics this particular package you can see that it has been downloaded 1500 times an average 31 uh, per day uh, which is not bad uh, so you can see that this particular uh, this particular package manager you can find it from the uh, nuget package the way you work with the dynamic tables is using this uh, this type uh, like create dynamic instance or create a horizontal table or you can also work with create a dynamic set to make that happen. And I'll tell you how you can actually work with this one. So I'm going to go to our uh, Visual Studio over here and I'm going to right click the dependencies, uh, manage NuGet package uh, and I'm going to go search for uh, execute automation probably and if I hit enter you will get to the execute automation uh, rec and roll dynamics uh, package so I'm gonna go ahead and install this particular package within my uh, project and I hit accept which is pretty cool and now if I go over here see the problem we have at the moment with our existing solution is that every single time while you work with create instance or maybe even the create sets we need to have a type which is the user details type in order for us to avoid this type we are going to use a dynamic type where we don't even have to define this kind of types that we have got so what i really mean about that so let's say uh, i'm gonna do this uh this probably i'm gonna do the exact same idea uh over here create the new user uh, with dynamic uh, data there we go dynamic data table probably data table uh, and the way i'm going to do it is enter the new user details uh, with dynamic uh, data table as follows i just want to differentiate that because you can easily compare uh, with the uh, with the existing solution with your uh, new solution that I'm going to propose. So I'm going to define these step definitions. Uh, so go define steps, going to copy them. And I'm going to come back to our create users over here. And I'm going to paste it. All right. So with the first one, let's go with the first one where we're going to just work with one record type, right? Uh, which is one row. So how do I actually work with that one? So var data is equal to data table dot we used to do something like create uh sorry data table dot and we used to do something like create dynamic sorry create uh, set method that's what we use right like either create instance method we use either create set method and for one record we used to use what is called as create uh, instance uh, method we were using before and now we have got this create a dynamic instance method which is going to come from the uh, from the execute automation dot rec and roll dot dynamics package which we just installed right now and if i just going to use this guy the create dynamic instance package uh, the method and now see i'll tell you what is going to happen instead of you using the var type you need to use a new keyword called as a dynamic type over here Using this dynamic type, you don't even have to uh, you don't even have to create a type like how we used before. Instead, we can just say let's gonna copy this entire thing and I'm gonna paste it over here. Uh, maybe just name this as user details. Look at that. The code is just resolved automatically. I have not even specified anything related to the type over here is like a dynamic type it automatically knows based on the column names that you have got on the table which is this one the duration work name salary grade and email this particular library is going to automatically transform the 
column names from the table into the names from the dynamic types for you and then it's going to automatically convert that for you over here this is the real power for you guys and i'll tell you what i really mean about that so let me just go uh, and build this solution and let me put a breakpoint here uh, which we just wrote this one and i'm gonna put a breakpoint here as well and this particular uh, feature is what we were working to create the dynamic uh, record so if i just gonna do a step over you will notice that we have got the user details and we have got a system dot dynamic dot expando type this time not a not like a uh, like a normal data like user details type but we're going to get a, a dynamic dot expando types and if i hit view there look at that it has got exactly the same kind of record that we were seeing before like duration worked as 10 salary as uh, thousand name as test user grade as one email as this one and this is exactly what we were needing as well. So now if I just hover there, look at that. The dynamic is getting the test user. Uh, and the email is G this one, duration worked, salary, uh, and grade, which is amazing. You don't even have to create a record type to have all these details. Now it's all going to be printed for you over here, uh, as you can see, which is this one right so this is all happening because of the 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 way this thing is being built for you over here like this is going to be dynamically resolving things and going to print it for you over here without you having to create a new type uh, like a record type that we actually created just this one right similarly you can also work with uh with what is called as like multiple rows as well like how we did over here like these are the multiple rows that we have got and we can dynamically uh, uh dynamically dynamically call them as well so the way we can do it is it's pretty much exactly the same thing so you're gonna say dynamic uh, dynamic user details uh, is equal to data table dot create dynamic set see that like create a set method uh we have got uh over here like create set method similarly i'm gonna have a method called as create dynamic set method which is gonna dynamically uh print things for me over here i'm gonna do one more time the same for each loop uh which i can probably even copy from here uh and i'm gonna paste that over here so this is gonna be user details uh which i have got and i'm gonna print that value this time Look at that. This is same exact thing, but just that we are going to have uh, no type, which is the user details type, right? I've told this many times already. So now if I'm going to go uh, build this solution and I'm going to go to this particular feature and if I try to run this particular feature, you will notice that it is going to print all the values and also the iterations that you are, you are seeing over here, like test user uh, test user test user one and test user two and it's all been printed this is all happening because of our create dynamic set that we are using so this is the power of you dynamically building things or dynamically working with the tables instead of creating a type that is going to reduce the number of overhead that you go through while working with the tables in the rec and roll and that is the power guys and this is quite awesome because you don't even have to um, worry about having multiple dependencies while you work with the small tables and you still have to get your work done you, you can either use this word uh, this way like way one for that or you can either use the dynamic way uh, which is this one because it keeps your code more simple as opposed to having a type for that matter so that's how you work with the data tables in much, much higher level. So far, we have discussed quite a lot of things like past three lectures about data tables. I guess this is more than enough for you to get rock and roll with rock and roll with data tables. Catch you in the next one.